Welcome to the Flash Performance Garage, and today I'm in trouble with my wife for a flat tire that I wasn't here for. Go figure. Here's why I'm in trouble. Because when I was away at the SEMA show this week, my wife thought she had a flat tire. And technically she did, it was very low on air pressure. She went to air up the tire and she couldn't get the valve cap off because somebody, I don't know when, put a metal valve cap on a metal valve stem attached to a TPMS sensor. When you have metal on metal, they corrode and they don't come off. So I, being the heroic husband that I am, came home and tried to use my impact driver just to put a little, hem you know, just a little bit of a hammer on it. Just a little tappy tap tap and the cap broke off. So the cap broke off with a stem inside it and now the tire is completely flat and there's no way to fix it. Well, there is a way to fix it. You have to replace the TPMS sensor. So, just so happened that while I was at the SEMA show, I got to talk to the guys at the Autel booth that have TPMS and they showed me their new one sensor. So the reason they call this a one sensor is because it has dual frequency in it. It's a 315 and a 433 sensor. So it's both sensors in one. So now as far as inventory level goes, I only have to have one sensor. So pretty cool name. So my challenge to them was, yeah, that's fantastic. But what about all the guys in the industry that have a TS-401? Maybe you got a TS-401 with your DS-708 back in the day and it was a free tool. Maybe you picked it up as just an inexpensive TPMS tool. Well, they said, you're in luck because your TS-401 will work with a one sensor. I said, how does that happen? They said with an update. So make sure you update your tool. Uh, currently, I'm on version 5.30 to be able to use my TS-401 with a one sensor. So let's get started by taking the tire off and breaking the bead loose. The next challenge is trying to break the bead from the rim. And I don't have a tire machine. So your options are to find a buddy that has a tire machine or take it to your local tire shop to get it off. I've tried some other ways to break the beads on these things. It's just too difficult and things start to break. So I'm gonna run this over to a buddy's shop, use his tire machine, break the bead loose, and we'll get that sensor stuffed in there. One of the things to consider when you order your sensor is whether you're gonna get a metal stem, which is called a clamp-in, or whether you're gonna get the rubber stem, which is the pull-through. So the nice part about the Autel design is they have a push button that gives you the ability to just swap those out. You push it in, the stem pulls out, you put the other stem in, and it clicks in. So if you wanted to change over your clamp-in style stem to a rubber style stem, you could easily do that as a set of four. Now, right now, I'm just replacing one sensor and one stem, so I'm going to use the clamp-in style. Whenever I get around to replacing the rest of the sensors in this Toyota, I'm gonna go and switch over to the rubber style. So I'm gonna hold on to this one for now, and then I'll use that later on when I do the rest of these. So let's get the old sensor out and get the new one in. We're gonna make the process for programming this one sensor pretty easy. I could do an auto create on it and that would be fine, but actually the easiest process on this one is to do copy by activation. Copy by activation means that I take the old sensor and I take all the information out of it, mainly the sensor ID, and I take that ID and I copy it into the brand new sensor. So that gives me the ability to not have to do the relearn on this truck because I put a new sensor in it. The car is already looking for that specific sensor. Autel has made the process for programming these sensors very easy. We're going to go through this step by step so you can see the procedure also. I have the tool powered on, so I'm going to go to vehicle selection. I'm going to select yes. We're going to go to Toyota, 4Runner, and this is a 2007, so we're going to select the middle option there. I'm just going to do four wheels. We don't have to do it this way, but we can go ahead and arrow down to the wheel that we're working on. I'm going to select trigger because I want to trigger the old sensor. So I'm going to take the old sensor, I'm going to trigger it, 
pull all the information out of it. It gives me my serial ID and all the information. I'm going to go back to that sensor and I'm going to hold down the Y button. When I select Y, it's going to give me my programming screen. I'm going to select Copy by Activation. It's going to tell me my frequency and ID number. Are you want to do programming? Yes. I'm going to take my new one sensor. I'm going to put it up here at the top. Select Yes. Programming success. Now that I have the sensor programmed to the ID the car thought it already had, I'm going to stick it in the tire, air it up to the correct pressure, and ship it. It'll be all set to go. And this time I'm going to make sure that some random person doesn't put the wrong valve cap on it. Well, that's it. The simple process of replacing a TPMS sensor with an Autel 1 sensor using the TS-401. Now I'm going to go through, check the rest of the pressure, and that's one less thing that she has to yell at me about. We'll catch you next time. Make sure you give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, plenty more to come.